All right, we are getting ready to finally replace this busted windshield. Uh, it has gotten worse and worse as we've been testing with the busted windshield. You can see how bad there's just shatters everywhere. Uh, I've been trying to do some SPL testing, keep the mic on the glass, but the windshield moves so much the mic likes to uh, launch off here. We're currently only running two subs. Uh, let's give you all a view. These are two Sundown Audio Compact Neo. They are running the U18 top assembly. So it's a U18 frame, some SPL parts like SPL Spider. That is a U cone. Um, let's see, we're running dual quarter ohm coils currently. But I did do some play in. Two subs is working really well. I've got to get these tubes, the empty tubes, pulled out. Crazy. I uh, tried doing a third sub in here, wired it up, and it actually lost score. And with the third sub sitting in here not wired up, it loses 4 dB. So uh, I know it's gonna scale, not going to scale up that much, but gained a ton of efficiency running only two subs. So we're going we're gonna to play with that a little bit, see if it holds. Right now, because of this, efficiency is way, way down. So many cracks have formed. The windshield just bulges out. Um, it might even, uh, I'll, I'll try and give you a... Uh, it's gonna be hard for me to hold the camera and do this, but yeah Here, let's try it this way So hopefully y'all can see that the more that windshield bulges the worse the score gets but we're gonna do some uh, testing So I got things queued up we're gonna do a little term lab testing Right now with the busted windshield see what kind of score and power we can do I'm aiming to do about a 160 so this is mic is on the glass. Hopefully it stays there. Two 18s, one salt eight. We're using temporarily for power. And <laughs> this is a customer returned salt eight. Customer said it did not work right. That that was, I believe their exact words. Don't work right. I've been testing the crap out of it in here. I got, I probably got a hundred burps on this thing now. Getting some pretty wild clamp power out of it. It's working, working well. Here we go. Looking for about a 160. And there, there we go. 160.5 dB. Ouch at the efficiency, 2,953 watts. So that's something normally I'd be able to do that score on less than 2K, and now it's taking me 2,900 to do. Uh, some of the best efficiency numbers out of here, do, do about a 160.0, 160 flat. Uh, I think it was around 1,400 watts is what we had it at so scores like this it's it's way off uh, in case you're interested you can see our output in volts amps and our 1.1 reactive load right now um obviously we're not pushing the saltate turn it's not turned all the way up oh uh, yep mike stayed on the windshield so we're, we're gonna turn it up let the windshield bulge and bust loose and uh let's see what kind of score we can get all right, I've got our uh, our trusty Access Power PC60 chilling down there, trying to get the voltage up. We're at, we're at about 14.2, and it never fails. You start recording, and somebody just comes around every time. <laughs> Turn the camera on. Someone's gonna walk up and start hollering. This is why I don't video at work. No good and well, ain't nobody out here. Where'd she even come from? All right. So here we go, voltage is up. We have turned it up five volume clicks, typically five volume clicks. Every one click on my trusty Pioneer head unit is one dB. So this, this would be a good 165. I don't think we're getting nowhere close to there because that windshield's gonna bulge so bad. Uh, I'm gonna do the hit and we're gonna do another hit and I'm gonna go up there and video the windshield and let y'all see how bad it's moving. So here we go. Um, but take your guess, we're going up five clicks. What kind of score do you think we're about to hit? I'm gonna guess a high 163, maybe 164 if we're lucky, but I'm going for something like a 163.7. Here we go. Well, all right. I'll take it way higher than I thought it was gonna do. 164.7 dB, 8,699 watts. There's our volts and amps. Our output, 1.05 reactive load. So we still got a good bit more juice in the tank. And just so y'all see, yep, Mike is still 
it's still on the windshield it ain't launched yet i know sometimes this glass gets the it gets the uh, flexing so bad oh one of our one suction cups did come loose Ugh, all right we're back on so 164.7 let's turn up a few more clicks i know we can get about 12k out of this amp <clears throat> let's see what happens all right so 164.7 8699 watts let's see one two yeah we're gonna do two more clicks two more clicks here we go what are we gonna get Hello. looks like that's it um, i think my track reset there at the end so yep we are burping 61 hertz right now uh, i didn't even check frequency it is extra cold we're gonna we're gonna do that hit again Fresh reset on the track. Yep, there we go. 165.0, 9,592 watts. Let's see. That was two clicks. We're going to give it three clicks this time. Hold on, play it again. We'll, we'll get it in here. Jimmy just took a video with his, his iPhone. Damn, Jimmy, how long does it take? Let's see if we can get this on here. here here's a, his slow mo of the windshield. Yeah, Jello windshield. All right, one more, one more hit right here. We went up three clicks this time. We're looking for 12k out of this amp. We're getting some power increase. We're at 10,320 watts, barely any SPL. And I'm pretty sure the culprit is just the windshield. The more that windshield moves, the less pressure it wants to hold. So that's it. We might just uh, go and go and cut out. Yeah, hold on, dude. Yeah, you can definitely see how, how bad that thing's moving. Yeah, the more it moves, the less pressure we're gonna build up. And if we can't build up pressure, we can't read a high score on that mic. That's it. Let's get this windshield tore out and uh, get it replaced. Fingers crossed what kind of scores we're going to see with the new doubled up windshield. Here we go. Old windshield is out. Getting ready to put the new one in. I would say hopefully for the last time, but we know the new windshield has bubbles in it. So if nothing else, when it gets warmer this summer, we'll make another double windshield and get it put in and not have any bubbles, get it looking good for uh, shows later this year, for finals later this year. But that's it. We're gonna start laying some glue beads down. Bought me a new tool, something I wish I'd have gotten from the beginning. Um, so hopefully it works out for being expensive with the, those electric cock guns are. Um, but yeah, let's get the new windshield out here, get it put in. All right, guys, the windshield is in. This is the new doubled up double windshield. It's all dried, seems to be holding pretty good so far. We did some before testing with the old busted up broken windshield. Same exact setup that you still see, the two 18s that are in there. Uh, we did some testing, so that's already played. Now it's time to do some testing after the fact, show what the difference are. So, give you a glimpse. We still only have the two subs, the whole other, the tubes, everything's removed. Mike is still up there on the windshield and try and get back and give you a little glimpse. Eh, so I can see, see pretty, the looks are pretty good. There are some bubbles that got stuck in there. I think I highlighted all that in the video. Let me get my light out of here. Door is sealed. Everything in the whole truck is sealed. We've got our voltage topping off. So right here, all in one take. Let me set my tripod up. We're gonna do some SPL hits, or at least the first SPL hit. So here we go. Yep, y'all can see that. All right. So 
I'm not sure what all scores, everything I did before. Right now, I'm going to do a quick 160 dB hit. Got it all queued up to make this easier. So here you go. So that's it. Uh, 160.3 dB, 3310 watts. I don't remember if I fully highlighted what it took to do about a 160 before, but not this much power. So, um, we have lost. Let's just get to the, to the chase there. We have lost score. Um, by my estimate, based on the amount of power I could do a 160 flight out before to this, I've actually lost about a full dB, as crazy as that sounds. Going from the busted, just completely obliterated, shattered windshield that's sitting up there flopping and flexing to a really, really hard windshield at this low of SPL and power level, um, yeah, we have lost score. Fail. Uh, I guess next choice is, uh, let's turn it up, see what happens. So my loud, loud click with the old busted windshield, we did 164.8 dB. That was the very last video I posted on social media. I uh, did it one, one, real quick, 164.8 dB, it was at about 8,600 and change, 8,600 watts. Let's see if we can get up there, 164.8 dB and how much power it's going to take us to do it. All right, um, gave my charger time to kind of get the voltage up. We're chilling, 14.4 volts. Uh, I run five cells in these banks, so most I ever charge is around 15 volts. Right now, I'm just leaving the charger in 12 volt mode, so it's gonna hold us around 14.4. I want a good charge. We're gonna reset this, and I'm gonna turn up a few clicks. We're going for around that 164.8 dB. Again, before it only took about 8,600 watts to get there, I've got up to 12K on tap with the saw day. That's, that's most I've gotten out of it here, here in the truck. We got up to 12K on tap. Let's see what happens. We're gonna give it all the extra clicks. Yeah, I think that many will do it. All right, what do you think it's going to do? So my estimate, we're about a dB down. Let's see what happens. Oh, so there we go. Um, so not, not quite dB, close. All right, so at 8,600, we did a 164.8. So we got 200 extra watts which might be worth about those those 0.2, but we're down 0.6. Oh, not good. Not good to lose SPL like that, which means something else has happened somewhere. I think I might know what it is. Um, I found some deadener that was cracked in the roof, and my only guess is maybe that crack got worse. Now that we've stiffened up the windshield, the pressure can't push the windshield out, so the crack that was in the deadener has gotten worse, and now something's happening with the roof. That's my theory. The only way for me to test it is to get in there and fix that deadener on the roof. But for now, uh, we got some more power on tap. I'm gonna I'm crank it a few more clicks. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, looks like the chargers, it's holding tight. We're sitting about 14.2. Let's give it a couple more clicks. Let's see if I can even get over a 165 or we're gonna tap out. So it looks like my reactive load's changed a little bit. That's one, two. Two more volume clicks. What do you think's gonna happen? Here we go. Well, we got 0.4 more and 900 more watts. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna be about tapped out. There should be some more power on tap, but my rack, my rack of load has definitely changed from where I was. Um, and it just seems like it's climbing slow with the extra the extra volume I'm giving it. I don't know. I don't know if there's any point in me trying to turn it up anymore. I think we're going to really plateau and flatten out here. Which would also make sense to structurally something being broken in the truck. Basically, the, the, the pressure from moving with the windshield has now shifted that force somewhere else. Some other part is moving and we're getting up to a certain SPL level and that part's just moving more and not allowing it to hold all the pressure. That was the issue I was first having with the windshield being broken, why I want to stop, get that fixed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. I guess my next step is going to be more deadener. Fix the deadener that's on the roof where I know that crack is there, find out how bad it is, fix it, add more, 
cross my fingers, see if the score comes back. Wish me luck. Um, if that's it, remember if you like what we're doing on the channel, like, subscribe, thumbs up, all that cool stuff. Uh, check out Sundown Unofficial for all your Sundown swag, hoodies, tees, all that cool stuff. And until next time, guys, we'll see you all in.